A spring symphony of sorts is coming, but it may not be music to your ears if you live in Superior Township. That's because billions of cicadias will make their return next month. Now, the cicadias are harmless to humans, but as 7 Action News anchor Dave Llewellyn explains, you'll definitely know when they emerge for the first time in 17 years. It will look and sound like an invasion. <laughs> In a matter of weeks, cicadas will make their return, and Cherry Hill Nature Preserve near Ann Arbor is ground zero. They live for about 17 years underneath the soil. Um, they attach themselves to the roots of trees, and there's just a, um, it doesn't harm the trees in any way. They just pull fluids from the roots and that's what they sustain themselves on for 17 years. Arriving around the 1st of May, the insects have a lifespan of only about six weeks. Um, shed their skin and become adults to where they can fly, and they go up and they mate, and then the females uh, lay their eggs in those small twigs at the tops of the, at the ends of the branches, and uh, not too long later, the uh, adults die, the eggs hatch, and the larvae drop down into the soil, and go down about eight inches and hang out there for 17 years again. They're just noisy, um, obnoxious. They're going to be all over. Um, I know folks really don't like the box elder bugs. You know, you start seeing them all over the place. It's going to be that, but on a much grander, larger scale. Tiffany Jacobazzi expects we'll see a couple hundred thousand to a million cicadas per acre in Cherry Hill Nature Preserve's 160 acres. That's a lot of annoyance. But she says the insects play an important role in nature's renewal, likening them to a wildfire in a forest. Cicadas are just another tool that nature has. They're coming out. They're going to thin some of the smaller material out. They're going to thin smaller branches out of trees. It, it's nature doing its thing. And that's what it does. And that was Dave Llewellyn reporting.